Barack and Michelle rushed to Harvard after what Malia is caught refusing to do. After appearing to have some kind of drug or alcohol-induced meltdown just weeks ago, we aren't too surprised that there's already an issue on Malia Obama's first day at Harvard. After her gap year, which amounted to a lot of jet-setting with rich white kids and a few months at an exclusive internship, Malia's extended vacation is over, but she's certainly not done making headlines. In fact, she's grabbing attention again since Barack and Michelle Obama rushed to Harvard after what their daughter was caught refusing to do. Freshmen at Harvard are trickling onto campus, getting settled for one of the most prestigious educational opportunities in the world. Harvard is an Ivy League university, and it's a virtual who's who of privileged kids. Sure. They boast having scholarships, but let's face it, Harvard is $64,000 a year, not exactly chump change. Harvard is the ultimate in rich privilege, plain and simple. Then, there's Molly Obama, who, according to accounts, is getting extra perks. This happened after it was learned that she would have to put up with sharing a dorm room with three six roommates. She was assigned to the best dorm, called the Yard, but that wasn't quite good enough. Now, we know she was just given a special room, alone, thanks to mommy and daddy showing up. Of course, the liberal media is slanting this. According to USA Today, Harvard sets up its first years in suites that house three to six students, which means Malia will likely share her common area space with more than one person. Social media shipped Malia Yara Shadidi pairing when news broke in June that the actress and activist would also attend Harvard. But it turns out Shadidi pushed back the start of her freshman year to shoot the blackish spin-off, now called Adultish, so she won't be on campus until 2018. The report goes on, so, considering more than half her life has been spent in the public eye, Malia just snagged one of the few single rooms available to freshmen for some way learned privacy. Malia was caught in front of the dorm in all black, like someone in mourning by reporter Steve Ander for the Boston Globe, which is about as liberal as you can get, so there's no doubt they were there to do a fluff piece on Malia's first day. But, she wasn't having any of that and gave poor Anna the cold shoulder. After the whole passed out in a golf cart incident, she's probably been given the lowdown about not embarrassing her illustrious parents ever again. In case you missed the meltdown. It really was quite troubling as video emerged showing Molly Obama dozing off after a ruckus night at Chicago's Lollapalooza Music Festival. Sitting in the passenger seat of the golf cart, 19-year-old Molly appears to have already fallen asleep. But the movements of the car causes her head to jolt up a few times, though she doesn't seem to open her eyes, reported Daily Mail. That was being kind. In reality, she looked to be out cold in that golf cart. Instead of being concerned, the girls were trying to blow it off as just a teenager having fun. Unfortunately, it isn't Malia who everyone should be talking about when she makes these mistakes. Although she's an adult, Malia was left to her own devices for over a year, at only 18 years old, while her parents sipped champagne on yachts and partied with the Hollywood crowd. She's simply following the example set for her, and apparently, when you're in Obama, life's a big damn party. Thankfully, she's at Harvard and now seems to be very subdued. Perhaps her Harvard privacy perk will help decrease the partying, or perhaps it's all in hopes that her embarrassing incidents won't so easily be caught on camera next time. No one wants to see any young adult go down the wrong path, and we hope that whatever issues she's had, due to the parenting she's received, she is able to overcome them. It was her parents who seemed to think she was ready to be on her own. And that's what's troubling. Maybe she's learned her lesson and will leave the partying life behind. We really hope so. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.